Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this collaboration video, our faves for winter 2021. If you come from one of the other channels then welcome, I hope you will enjoy my video. Um, if you're one of my regulars then please do make sure that you check out the other videos which I will link in the description bar below. So the first one I've chosen is new to my collection. It's Quixotic Polishes Love Potion number no. nine. And I absolutely loved wearing this one. It's described as being a mulberry base with a gold with gold hollow micro glitters and gold hollow flakies. Um, obviously to show those flakies off it has to be a little bit sheer so it does need building up. And uh, it, for me this one is opaque in two coats has a great formula, goes on nice and easily and uh, just as importantly it also comes off quite easily as well, no scrubbing with this polish. If like I did here you sometimes get a little bit of polish onto your cuticles you can use the end of uh, a wooden stick just to take the worst of it off and then with a little bit of nail polish remover on a thin brush you can clean away the rest. So here's Quixotic Polishes Love Potion number no. 9 in two coats with a top coat and a little macro there so that you can really see those flakies. My next choice uh, was Cuccio Colours Quick as a Bunny and I couldn't find an official description for this but I think it looks like a pale grey um, with a few drops of torp in it. It is a straightforward cream polish, it has a reasonable formula, a little bit thin on the first application. I do find that some of my polishes are like this when they are fairly new but with a few uses they thicken up a little bit and on this one it was opaque in just two coats. So I loved the way that this one matched my nice jumper that I was wearing on the day. It made me feel nice and warm and cosy and then I added a little bit of a plaid nail art to it as well and a matte top coat for the manicure that you see in these photos. My next choice is Nails Inks Porchester Square and this is one of the polishes that I currently have in my project polish. I'm really enjoying wearing this one, I hadn't worn it for a little while. It is described as a muted mushroom shade and I think this is a lovely palette cleanser after all the excesses of the reds and golds over um, the festive period and uh, I'm just really enjoying wearing this one. It is work appropriate which makes it easy easy to wear um, but I like the shade as well and how it looks against my skin tone. The formula on this one is very good indeed, it goes on very easily and it is opaque in just one coat, however I find that worn in one coat it chips quite easily so I always do two coats and that makes my manicure last a bit longer. So here is Porchester Square by Nails Inc in two coats with a top coat. My next choice is Dandelion Clock by Prism Polish. Um, this is relatively new to my collection and I only wore it for the first time recently. It is a lovely pale duck egg blue with red to gold shifting flakies in it ever so pretty. Um, I really enjoyed wearing it and I did get a lot of compliments when I wore this polish. The formula on this one is also very good, it goes on nice and easily, just a little bit streaky on that first coat um, but that evens out really easily on the second. Again you can see a little bit of flooding into my cuticles removed nice and easily with the wooden stick method. Here's the second coat going on and you can see with that it is completely opaque. 
as this polish has flakies and not glitters and those flakies are quite fine it removed nice and easily as well and didn't require any scrubbing so this is prism polish dandelion clock in two coats with a top coat Next we have an old favourite of mine and I'm surprised it hasn't made it into any of these videos in the past. It is Caitlin by Zoya. I pulled this one out because I thought it might have been a match for the Pantone colour of the year Ultimate Grey. It is actually a little bit too dark and a bit too purple coloured for that one but I know how much I love it so whilst it was out I wore it again. Soya described this one as a purple tinged medium grey cream. It has a slightly thin formula on that first application but goes on really easily. I actually like the old thin Zoya brushes because I've got very small nails and also deep side walls so I find it's very easy to use um, to get the polish on without getting it into my cuticles. Excellent formula on this one and as you can see it is completely opaque on that second coat. So that's Zoya's Caitlin in two coats with a top coat. My next choice is Bayarda's Nails and a relatively new polish to my collection. This was unworn um, and it is called I'm Just a Simple Tailor and it was a uh, collaboration polish with Louise of Loopy Frog Nails um, and it is a deep mid-toned purple with pink to purple gold flakies and I think I spy a little bit of teal in there as well. From a distance it just looks like you have a purpley grey nails um, but when you get up close or if you catch them in sunlight you get those beautiful flakies shining through. It is a little bit sheer on the first coat and I thought this might have been a three coater but in fact it was completely opaque in just two coats. So here you have I'm Just a Simple Tailor um, by Ardis Nails. Uh, in my eyes it looks a little bit more grey than it does purple, um, but that was the official description. And again finishing up with a little macro shot here so that you can really see those flakes. My final choice is Cubicle Pusher by KB Shimmer and this polish was gifted to me by the lovely Anna and it is a real favourite of mine. It's described as a muted holographic grape linear hollow with micro glitters um, and you can see that the linear holographic in this one is quite insane. It's really clear no matter what the lighting um, and a very very beautiful polish. This one has a lovely formula and I really like the brush on this one because with some pressure it spreads out wide and thin and I can really get down into those side walls without getting the nail polish all over my skin. Um, so you can see there how smoothly that goes on. Um, it is a little bit sheer on that first um, coat and it takes two coats to become fully opaque um, but it's a very very easy application and a lovely shiny finish. So here you have two coats of KB Shimmer's Cubicle Pusher and with the macro shot I've taken this one in the bathroom so that with that lighting so you can really see the linear holographic finish. So that's it, my seven favourite nail polishes for winter 2021. Um, quite a muted palette to them, um, similar sort of shades to actually the ones that I chose for autumn, um, but a little bit more muted and dusky in colour, which I do like to wear around this time of the year. 
Don't forget to check out the videos of all the other people who've taken part. I will link their channels in the description bar below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please do hit like and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.